We had a little destruction. Yeah, look at this. The you trim. Saw. This piece of trim fell off during the drive. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to another day with North and South. It's actually not just any other day. It's the day we're leaving, actually leaving on our first journey or our first trip. The beginning of the adventure. We're going. So everyone's walking around, brushing teeth, packing up, getting the trailer ready. Kitties are feeling a little apprehensive, but we're getting it all ready to go. This is always a process of cleaning up and packing up and the kitties are going to be in the car with us so it should be fine we said this before but to get the trailer ready to actually move is kind of a thing you gotta i don't know it's a process you got to go through so everything stays in place and also you got to get our screens all ready to go it's a seven hour drive today so it's a little bit longer than usual there's a few things we're still trying to find spots for but, <clears throat> so we haven't dialed it all in yet, but can't wait until it's all done to go. Let's see, how's the back room here looking? Getting closer. Getting closer now? Everything's got to be out of the way. So we can close our slide. The bathroom's all good. It's pretty good. Okay, so we'll get this packed up and we'll get going. Trying out this, it goes the length of the van back there for the kitties. It looks like they're really squished in there, but they're not. And then once we get going, we're gonna let them out and we have like some, oh, look at that window seat. I don't know if that's gonna work. It's already hanging off. But um, we'll let them roam around the car once we get going and see how much they drive everybody crazy. But they might prefer just going back in there so they have their little spot. We're going. This, this is the beginning. We're out of the park, almost. This day has been a long time coming um, because we're still just like 20 minutes north of our town, so. It took a while. But I feel way better this morning than I did yesterday morning. It's amazing what a difference 24 hours can make. If you didn't watch our last video of us moving into the RV, that was, you know, when we woke up our first morning in the RV and I thought, wow. Wow, okay. Wow, I hope this works. But Here. this morning totally worked. Feel super happy. We were able to all eat breakfast. Everybody did a really good job closing up the RV. It's like we all just know how to do it now. And um, I, we've gotten so many things put away. The bed is comfortable. Um, so I'm just really, really happy. So we're gonna head over to Kentucky and um, Kentucky is always a great state to visit, but right now um, they're going to be in the path of totality for the 2024 eclipse. We missed the last one because we were in France, um, and so we're pretty excited to get to see an eclipse. Elijah's excited too, because he's gonna drive, what, like six or seven hours over to stay with us a night or two, so he can see it too, and then he's gonna take Esther back so she can move into her first apartment as an adult. Um, but we're gonna head over now and get to our first RV park outside of town. Look at our friends at home. <laughs> you ever 
every drive you're getting more relaxed, huh? You're gonna be a road kitty for a bit. But I think you can handle it. Albus is super chill about everything. Calcifer's always been our scaredy cat though, huh? I'll know a scaredy cat, scaredy cat. They both got air, 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 what are those called? Air, air tags. tags. And um, so we, we ever do lose them. And they're also both microchipped, so. You got all your shots. You're ready to go, boy. You're ready to go. It's lunchtime now. We're stopped. The slide is out. We're in a parking lot. We had a little destruction. Yeah, look at this. The Can trim. This piece of trim fell off during the drive. So obviously it wasn't um, applied very well when it was put back on after I, the... Why? I don't think they took that off. Yeah, no, they did. I saw it off because remember I was oh, like, oh, you're oh right. we need to put that back on. Um, you're right. They took this off and they just didn't put it on very well. <laughs> So that's kind of interesting. Um, we'll see if I get that back on. In the meantime, it's uh, time to eat. We all got our food. Eating up. That couch can fit a fair amount of people. Lunch is done. Yeah. Almost. Almost. We're going to keep going. up on the birthplace of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, Andrew requested that we go look at this because um, he found it very exciting because in South Africa, KFC is like the most amazing. Uh, I'm not sure where to go. Right over here. here. What's that? Park over here okay, at the I'll bank. Park over here. Nice. Were there, was there a trailer parking there? I don't know. In South Africa, and in other countries, I think Elijah just said it was like this in Japan, and I think it's like this in China. Kentucky Fried Chicken is a more of a like a fancy restaurant, like somewhere where you might go on Christmas or something. And definitely in South Africa it is, and everybody loves KFC. And Andrew's like, are you going to Kentucky? He's like, can you go to the original KFC? Because that would give me serious bragging rights here in South Africa. And we happened to be driving down the freeway, and it said, like, next exit is the original KFC. And we're like, I think we have to do it. It was only two miles off of the interstate, so we're going to go over there. Maybe we should just get some food. Maybe. But we're going to go check it out. There it is. Wow. That's really exciting. Put your arms out. Ah! Eve just stuck her hand in my mouth. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Can't believe it. It's the original. Let's yeah, let's eat. We just came in. Look, it's legit. It's actually the Colonel's actual suit. That's his actual suit. Check it. I like his little diamond pin. Yes. Here's his cane. Wow. Here's his watch, I guess. <laughs> his belt buckle, his License for operating? Oh, look at him with his wife. They're so cute. He's a cutie. What a cutie he is. This is what the furniture was originally in the dining room. How cute is that? Look how legit this is. We're going to be eating at this table. We can actually eat Yeah. Whoa, that's the original burners. And dishwashers. Those are the original plates that they would eat on? Those are so cute. Wow. Alright, we got our food. This is just it's just KFC, but it feels it different. Like childhood. <laughs> we never eat KFC. We're done at KFC. Tana, keep moving. We have arrived at our spot. This is the KOA. Just south of Louisville. Now it's time to get situated. This is always a process.
So the best part of RV travel is that you drive all day and then you arrive and you're home. Isn't that nice? You didn't pack any bags, you just walked in, you opened it up, your toothbrush is in the cabinet, your food is in the fridge, and you're home. Love it. We got all set up. Now Megan and I are doing our kind of ritual of once you arrive somewhere, go to the grocery store and get stocked up again. So the kids are at home just doing fine. Chicken I mean, fajitas. A version of it. Okay. Today we had Campus C, tomorrow chicken fajitas. It's gonna be awesome. And we'll get a few other things, but this is pretty much what we do on every travel day. All right, that's the end of the video. We forgot to end it that day, but it was a fun travel day. Luckily, nothing too, nothing bad happened at all that day, actually, amazingly. No, and everybody, it's interesting to do it now, what, six years later? Seven mm -hmm. years later? Seven? Eight? I, I don't, don't know, know how many years but without any little kids. And everybody kind of knows the drill. It was, everybody pitched in, it went really fast. It was awesome. The kitties were the biggest question mark. <laughs> yeah, but I will say, I saw some comments on our last video about like, how do your kids feel? And I've seen that before, just from us moving. And I think the main thing to remember is that we are not you and you are not us. Mm. And we're all very different in this world. And some people like change, including the Norp family and the Norp children. I was just talking with Pearl yesterday and she was saying how happy she is to be out and everybody is very happy. We are yeah. all feeling really good. It just hit the spot for us all right now to be out on the road and traveling. And I'm sure some of you would love to do that too. And there's just some of you who don't like to move and to change. And it is also a little different. I think something to keep in mind is because we homeschool and we work from home and we have a big family, it's not quite as traumatic of a change as if you were going mm. from public school to public school to public school, like yeah, some military true. kids are. Yeah. Um, the only thing that changes is the rooms that we are in. It's kind of the same crowd all the time. Yeah. So, and you know, also the last five years we've been in the same town. So especially then, um, even though the rooms that we were sleeping in and things have changed, <clears> their <throat> friend group, church group, all of that has stayed the same. So it's not quite as much change as it might be if you were moving every year with as a military family or something. But some people actually love that too. So everybody's different. Yeah. So we're having a good time. Really good time. So thanks for coming along. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And uh, stay tuned for more fun adventures with the Norps. Got some good stuff coming up. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.